How's it going, my beautiful ladies and gentlemen? If you're new to the channel, welcome. My name is Alex Salamone. I am a consciousness mentor and spiritual guide. So there's a lot that I bring that I sort of collide together to help people guide them into this beautiful thing called life. For today though, I want to share with you on one of the things that I have been practicing for quite some time now, which is called hape, old or rape. So hape is spelled H-A-P-E with an accent on the E, or rape, R-A-P-E with an accent on the E. It varies uh, whether you are in Brazil or in other parts of South America, such as Peru, uh, where you would differentiate the, the two, and that's just due to language. So let me just share with you what rape or hape is. I'm going to just address it as hape, but hape is basically tobacco that comes from the Amazon, and it's practiced with uh, other, other plants that come as well from the Amazon, and this is the, it just comes from the indigenous people and from different tribes. So you might have the Ashaninka or the Hunikuin or Nikiniku. Um, there's very various different types of tribes and they all have their own little cocktail, so to speak. Their own ingredients, their own plants that they use for ceremonial purposes and also uh, just to as recreational uh, purposes as well. So it is a very, very old medicine. And yes, you heard that right. I called it a medicine because it 100% is a medicine. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that. So if you are looking uh, to get started to work with Hape or you're curious about it, I'm going to cover as much as possible as I can on this video. And at the end, I'm actually going to serve myself some Hape so you can see using the Kuripe how that works and um, some tips that I've learned along the way. Let's just get right to it. Again, uh, I have started using consistently Hape for several months. And at first, I was first introduced to it in a, in a plant-based ceremony and which I have experienced and explored uh, with um, on many occasions. And it is, as I mentioned before, it is a, a medicine that is used in South America primarily. Uh, the two big regions that they use it in is primarily in the Amazon, which consists of Brazil and Peru, but you can find other other places as well, such as Colombia, uh, Venezuela, and uh, various other countries within even uh, Central America as well. Basically, the biggest thing to remember about this medicine, <coughs> excuse me, is that it, it's that, it's a medicine. It's not a drug, and while it does have tobacco, I don't want you to think of it as the snuff that you can buy here in the United States because it's very, very different. What these people do is they take these tobacco leaves, they let them hang, they dry them, and then they'll, they'll either use, they'll grind those leaves or they'll, they'll use the, the ash of, of the leaves once they are burnt. Um, they burn it in a certain way that it's not like, you're not actually, it doesn't look like ash. I will show you what that looks like. But it is very unique to each tribe. And also it's designed with uh, various different plants, as I mentioned, for different things. So some hapes will be good for opening up the heart. Other hapes are good for shedding, for, for releasing, you know, negative energies. Uh, other hapes are, are good for just a very soft and gentle opening of the chakras. So every single one is going to be different. And you have soft, medium, and hard. And what that means is not, as far as what that means is, is not the touch, but how strong they are. So I guess soft, medium, and strong. Um, I've had strong hape, and it's very aggressive. I do have some here. And I only do that one once in a while when I'm, I'm being called to do it. And 
it is very it can be very unpleasant at times because it is very strong it is served through the nostrils so the hape will go on on the person who's serving on on the hand and it depends on the size if you're new i would do very small portions about a pea size for each nostril and um, or the size of your pinky uh, fingernail to start that's a good that's a good place to to start if someone is serving it to you they will use a, a tepi which i will show you what that looks like here in a minute it is a slightly different pipe than uh, the one you use to serve yourself which is called a curipe but once you serve the, the you load so, so to speak like the first nostril because you do one nostril at a time some of the key things to to know about this is your intention this is a very special medicine and it should be respected it comes from a very very ancient and old tradition throughout the amazon and these people respect this medicine very much and when they make it they don't just make it and they just bottle it you know and that's it they pray to it they sing songs to it there's a lot of intention and energy put into this medicine and so it is important to honor that and also to be mindful as to why are you using the medicine it's okay if you're curious about it maybe the first time or so um, just just get the experience but even still I encourage you to really think about what is the intention you want to set with it it's an opportunity to to say hey I allow myself to for this medicine to show me what it needs to show me I allow myself to relax and be open to open my subconscious to connect with my spirit whatever it may be but have some sort of intention that is respectful and mindful of the medicine in which you are about to receive so once that happens then the individual who is serving it it depends some people do it very differently um, i've seen all sorts of different rituals around this there is no right way in my mind to do it i think that it's just a matter of your intentions and the person if someone is serving it to you the intention that they have as well if they have good intentions and they have good energy then that is going to re uh, reciprocate with you um, as you are receiving the medicine now if you're going to serve yourself with a curipe then you know it's important to really devote that time to yourself and don't rush through the process of serving yourself but maybe even journal before uh, you could even i like to do it i do it and then i meditate so um, i don't talk i don't get up right away I, I serve myself and sometimes it can be very intense the feeling and I allow myself I surrender I surrender to the the feeling of the medicine and it's a great practice to practice surrendering and trust as I feel like that's one of the biggest things that we struggle with as a society as a modern society is wanting sometimes to let go of fear and uh, be able to show up for ourselves. So once you serve yourself one nostril, you're, what you do is um, you blow, as I will show you, into the nostril. I do it softly at first, and then towards the end, I kind of push it out just to make sure there's nothing in there. And then from that point on, you need to breathe through your mouth. It is a very important that you don't breathe through your nose because you're gonna, the, the, the hot bait can go in the back of your throat or it can get into your lungs and it can cause you to start coughing and it's really unpleasant. Plus, if it drips be behind your throat, it's also really harsh. It's really um, not the greatest flavor, okay? So mouth breathing is something that you must remember. Um, and uh, I always hold my breath after I set my intention. I place the curipe in my, on my heart and then on my mind. And that means what that means for me is just I open my heart and I open my subconscious mind to allow connection with my spirit, with my soul, with the divine energy. And then I serve myself and then I will personally immediately start to load the other um, serving. And then I will not do the hard thing all over again. I just go right into it and serve myself from that point on. Uh, after that, I close my eyes and I simply go into a state of meditation. 
I do a sitting up. I like to put my back on something because when I am able to rest my back, I'm able to fully relax my body, which allows me to connect deeper with the medicine, which also allows me to go into a deeper state of meditation. So it is very powerful when you do it in this sense. And the times that I've done it in ceremony, it was very much similar in the sense that you get served medicine by a shaman or a chief, and then you go back to your seat and you meditate close your eyes and you allow the medicine to do its thing now what if what does it feel like depending on the hapa that you have it does burn right and depending how you serve it and how much so if you serve yourself really gently your it might tickle your nose a little bit however what's going to happen is if you do it too gently there's going to be on the kuripe you're going to have hapa that when, was never truly delivered to your nostrils so it's only gonna you're only getting a calf or a third or whatever it may be so you're not getting the whole thing um, so it is important that you get comfortable breathing into that last bit of it and in, into your nostrils kind of harsh to make sure you get all of it in there yes it does burn again depending on the hape some hape is actually kind of soft gentle um, i do have some that is very much like that and uh, I enjoy it very much. So after that, your eyes might water, your, um, your nose is gonna burn, obviously. And if you do it too hard, and you're not used to it at the beginning, you might get some that goes in the back of your throat, so you might cough, and you might have to spit. So that's another thing that I must put emphasis on, is you do not want to swallow this stuff. And the reason is, is because if you feel like purging, if you feel like vomiting, you should have a bucket or something with you, no matter what, something to spit it, spit on regardless, uh, because that is the medicine working and allowing you to release whatever it is you're hanging on to. That can be energy, it can be emotions, it can be a number of different things, but typically it's one of those two. And so the medicine is actually helping you purge that energy out of your system, out of your body. Uh, so it's good to have like a bucket or something and allow yourself to do that. So I don't swallow the hape ever. If I feel it coming down my throat, uh, I will spit it out. You know, I will kind of like, you have to breathe in, you know, like, and then spit it out. Uh, the other thing I would say is having your head slightly tilted forward. If you're tilted back like this or even slightly up like this, what can happen is your your nose your your nasal cavity right it starts to drip down here naturally into your throat so you're gonna have, start to feel that and if you're meditating and stuff like that it's gonna disturb that that space that you're in because you're gonna have to either you're gonna be gagging or you're gonna have to spit so I would highly recommend to just uh, keep your head slightly forward like this I'll show you from the side what that looks like this is how I do I just I'll relax my, my head and it's slightly down like this. So when you do that, it's gonna drip out of your nostrils, which is completely normal. I keep already pre-folded some tissues or toilet paper or napkins, whatever it is you would like to use. Um, and I have it near me because I usually will put my hands on my on my knees, my I'm cross cross legged. And I'll just grab it, I'll keep my eyes closed and I'll just wipe my nose and I'll go back into the state of meditation. So that has been really, really um, powerful for me to use hape in meditation. So I do it first thing in the morning and then in the evening, with the exception of today that I'm gonna do it for, uh, for this video. But I've been, I work with it every single day. There's only some, I think a few, yesterday I didn't do it in the morning, but I did it in the evening, right? So. Um, I will have days where I feel like I need to take a break or it's very intuitive for me, but um, I don't feel like it's addicting at all. I don't feel addicted to it. It's really a very sh quick, short little um, feeling uh, that you get that helps you relax. It helps you your mind sort of like clear away all the noise and it helps you get into your meditation really, really quickly. Also, these there are no chemicals in these products. Uh, for the most part, as far as 
the places where I get them from, I either get them straight from the tribe or uh, there's this uh, other store that I will put the link below where I know it comes from a good source. They, they um, have a good relationship with different tribes throughout South America and I get it from there as well. So I know that it's, I'm putting good things into my body. There's absolutely no chemicals. It's not like cigarettes. It's not like snuff that has nicotine. It has things to actually um, make you addictive. This is just medicinal, medicinal medicine. It's actually a very, very sacred plant. We just have a bad relationship here in the West because we disrespect it. And we have a bad relationship to it because of cigarettes, because of chewing tobacco and all the, all the other stuff which is not just tobacco. It has other chemicals that are designed to make you addicted or to enhance the feeling of tobacco uh, with other chemicals. But yes, in South America is very, very sacred and very, very powerful medicine, very beautiful energy. It's a masculine energy, but it's very um, gentle in, in many ways. I'm trying to think what else. And that's pretty much it for me as, as far as like how it what it does for me and sometimes i get tinglings in my body depending on there's one hobby that's really strong that i have and when i relax and i i really focus on letting go really focusing on relaxing my muscles and everything my hands start to tingle my whole entire body starts to tingle and it's really an incredible feeling i love it and i can feel every cell of my body vibrating and then i just become very, very at peace. One last thing I guess that I just remember that I will share with you that made a big difference for me that I just haven't done it in a little bit was doing breath work before. If you do a little bit of breath work, it opens the lungs, it gets opens the heart, it gets everything opened up and uh, the hop it will hit you a lot stronger. That's if you're looking for that. Um, if you're just wanting to, if it's, if it's your first time, I recommend that you just take it for the first time in, in their normal state. Definitely take some a couple of deep breaths beforehand, focus on your intention. Uh, but for me, personally, I try to, when I do it, to do it on an empty stomach in the morning and then in the evening, I'll do it before dinner. That's also uh, plays a big role for me. Uh, when your stomach is not full, the medicine works a lot better. Your body was, is able to relax. It's not having to digest. So those two things uh, can enhance the experience of habe. So let me go ahead and get my tools and I will show you guys um, what they look like, explain it a little bit and then I will serve myself. All right, so this right here is called a curipe. And basically, as you can see, there's a large hole and a smaller hole. And the smaller hole is slightly taller than the large one. So the way this works is you you take the hoppe, which you will have in your hand, you scoop it, right? This the Each scoop that you're gonna do, or each loading, is gonna be per nostril. So just remember, you don't wanna do the whole thing. So two piece size, if you're a beginner, I recommend, one for each nostril. So once you load it, you place it to your heart, you place it on your, on your head, you allow that connection to happen, and then you take a deep breath in and then you place it on your nose like this and then you blow and it's going to be like I don't know if that came through the mic but it's very gentle and then at the end you push it all the way out so again I'll do it again closer this time just like that that's how I do it um, and I remember the first time I did it, it burned. It was very uncomfortable at first. And then you do get used to it, okay? Um, but it's also, it kind of brings that awareness of how much in fear we're living or how much we don't, we're not used to surrendering, right? So then you do the same thing for the other side, right? So this is the self, uh, self-serving self tool. It's called a curipe, again. And that is how you use it. Now the tepi, which is this, this is a very, very simple one, which is also falling apart on me. Um, but there are different ones. This is made out of bamboo, um, but you have ones that are more 
like have a curvature to it. They're not so um, 90 degree looking like this one. Um, you have some that, are, some that are made with bones, some that are made just with different materials, different woods. Um, but this is a very, very simple one and it was gifted to me. So I just keep it. I don't serve a lot of people. So uh, when I see the right one, uh, I will get another one, but for now this, this works. So this is the, the tool that you use to serve another individual if you want to serve the medicine. This longer piece, I blow, this goes on the nose, and, and then you serve it, right? So same thing, you would load up the hop in here, and then you place this on the individual's nose, and then you would blow it. Now here is what the, I will use this one so you can see, this is what the hoppet can look like. As you can see, it's just a powder, right? It's just a powder. Um, and this one might be about the same color. You can see how there's slight, bit, there's a little bit of difference there. And then I'm gonna show you this one, if I can. This was from the Hinacuin tribe. Brazil and this one you'll see that it's a lot darker right so it it does vary again it's depending on which plant they use mixed with the tobacco um, and each tribe is going to be different um, this is for the Nukini tribe with um, that this divine mother rose hape so this one's very light as well this is what it looks like Okay, uh, this is that company that I was, um, it's called Four Visions Market that I trust getting the hobby from that I would recommend if you're starting, if you're new to it, um, to try that from, from those people. So, um, but yeah, like hobby has just been really powerful for me. And I just want to kind of reemphasize on this, like it's, it's changed a lot of how I'm able to show up for myself, the kind of meditations that I have, and also um, having that awareness, that constant reminder to surrender and trust the process of life, which I think we all need to, to really tap into. If we look at nature, nature is constantly doing that. Every aspect of nature just trusts in the process of, of life. And so it's a great reminder to, to go back home and the plants teach us what they know best, right? So I hope that this was helpful. I am going to pause this and you'll see me come back. I have to change angles because I want to get comfortable and I'm going to go ahead and serve myself some hape. Um, one last thing that I want to cover with you as well is if you do get nauseous, which it happens even for me, uh, I have a really strong one and sometimes uh, I will do a like I do a pretty hefty size at this point it's about a quarter size uh, and then I split that in half for each nostril and uh, that one made me really nauseous right or if sometimes I have things that I need to purge out I can get that nausea so for that what helps uh, if there are any nurses listening to this at this point, you probably know this, but alcohol helps a lot with nausea. So I use Florida water. Now this looks pretty gnarly in here. I know because I have put herbs in here. It has blue lotus. It has roe. It has um, um, sage and a couple other other herbs in there. But what I do is uh, after I'm done with the hot bait, I just put a little bit in my hands and I smell that and it helps me really kind of come to it. It helps me re be present, if you will. And Florida water is really, really good for, for finalizing any sort of ritual that you have to cleanse yourself as well. So I use it for those purposes. Um, but if you're, if you're, if you don't have Florida water, um, you can just have something with 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 alcohol that um, it's pleasant to smell ideally and that that will help you with the nausea if you're feeling sick but 
allow yourself to purge if you need to but if it's something like you can't get that feeling out then that alcohol will help all right let me get set up and i'll see you guys in a little bit okay i'm gonna do the strong one for you guys so whew, you'll get to see what that looks like i got my toilet paper here it's what i prefer to use because i do this on a daily basis so toilet paper has been much better than kleenex otherwise i just go through too many kleenex anyways i'm going to pour the hop in here i got a little bit of music going and i'm going to show you can smell this already. That is, I don't know if you can see that, about how much I am doing, which is a good amount for this one since it's very, very strong. Um, so I'm gonna, I like to take the end of the curipe and I will kind of smash it like this and then I will separate it and then I can go like one side and then the other half, if that makes sense. So for here, I'm gonna grab the first side and I just kind of do this a little bit so it all goes in. Okay, so, so this is a good example. Um, I just did it. I paused it because it would be too long of a video for you guys to see me and I wanted to really focus <sighs> on my meditation and also with honoring the medicine. So I paused it um, right as you saw when I did this but I'm still feeling the medicine and it's still, um, you, as you saw, I'm purging a little bit. It's normal for you to burp. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Afterwards, I just wiped my, my nose a little bit. This is kind of nasty, but it's part of it. So this is a little bit of me just wiping my nose. Um, so I can feel it still in my nostrils. I feel my body really relaxed. I'm still breathing through my mouth for the most part, and I feel the need of wanting to spit. So I wanted to show you guys because this is normal and I feel like it's very important <laughs> for you guys to see how it really is. So I'm being very raw with you guys and very real um, because I think it's important. You saw I served myself a pretty decent amount and I'm still feeling it and sometimes some people, um, they may feel the need to reserve themselves after a few minutes later if they want to go deeper. It's completely up to you. Again, this is a beginner video for those of you who are wanting to learn more about it, who are wanting to get into the medicine. And I feel like I covered the basics of that. I typically do rituals with this medicine in the morning and in the afternoon. But I will make another video with that, uh, showing you guys and sharing what that ritual looks like for me, the intentions that I set, and also some of the um, things that I that I, I I do for protection 
especially in the evening, as well as, well as uh, lighting some Palo Santo. Uh, I usually have an incense going in the background. It's all about intention, you know, especially if you're going to do it in a closed space. This is my bedroom, so I sleep here. I spend very precious time here, right? So I want to make sure that the energy here, it's very good. And if I'm releasing anything like I just did, um, that I afterwards that I do cleansing of the of the energy in the room because I released some stuff, right? <clears throat> so again, it's normal for you to blow in and then spit. Um, it's perfectly normal. Um, at some point, you want to probably go to the bathroom and rinse your nostrils just so you can get all of it out. Um, but when you serve yourself, try not to blow your nose right away. If you're dripping, you know, just just do one of these numbers just to get the drip out of out, out, out of there. But I, I recommend leaving the medicine in there for at least um, a good few minutes. Um, if it starts to drip down the back of your throat and spit it out like this, right? Um, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, I haven't done this one in, in a little bit of, it's been a while since I've done it. And I recently went through an ayahuasca uh, ceremony. I did a ayahuasca ceremony and I've noticed that that changed my relationship with the hapis since it comes from the same ground that what that means is the jungle. Ayahuasca is primarily uh, utilize the, the, the beautiful and amazing medicine out in the Amazon. So they're very familiar. And typically when you do ayahuasca ceremonies, they will serve you hape throughout the night. So, um, so they, they work really well together. That's what I'm trying to say. So it's not as strong as it was for me before. And I, and I did purge a lot in my ayahuasca journey. I did release a lot of things that I needed to let go. So that's probably what it is. So that being said, if you're, if it's really harsh for you, I encourage you to keep working with it. Don't be afraid of it. Even if, if it's you're vomiting afterwards and you're feeling really, you know, ill, I encourage you to not let that scare you because what that's doing is the medicine is working it's it's actually releasing you're releasing energy you're releasing things toxins and things out of your body um, so i hope this was helpful thank you so much for watching and if you have any questions please make comments on put them on the comments below and i will be active more on here sharing with you all some of the rituals that i do some of the different medicines that i work with uh, Bahape is one that it will be definitely one that I will continue to talk more and I'll go further in depth with. Also, I am going to the Amazon jungles in two weeks and I am going to be immersing myself with the Ashinanka, uh, Ashaninka, excuse me, uh, tribe out in, in the Amazon, which I am extremely excited I'm going to be there for uh, close, well, a little bit over 10 days and where I will be also drinking ayahuasca and learning more about what they, how they live, about nature. And I will also be planting trees to help the reforestation of the Amazon, which is a big, 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 big mission that is going on right now with all the tribes and then trying to preserve the rainforest which is the lungs of our, of our beautiful earth. So I hope this was helpful. Again, thank you so much for watching. And let me know if you have any questions and be on the lookout as I will be posting a video also about my journey and uh, to the jungle, what it took, if, some, if that's something you're interested in doing for yourself, uh, what are the prepping that goes along with it, the flights and all that good stuff. I'm going to be going on here and sharing that with you all. All right, have a beautiful rest of your day and I hope that it helps you immerse yourself with this beautiful medicine, this ancient and sacred medicine called Hape. Until next time.